Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Photoshop action, which is kind of like a preset effect that you could just press play on. And the effect that we're going to be creating an action for is a comic book look. So it's kind of like two tutorials in one, so definitely leave a like below and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up your actions panel, and you can find that under Window Actions. It's also this little play button in the side if you have it. Now here's where all your actions are, there's folders, so there's the default Photoshop actions, but I'm going to show you how to create your own. So let's just create a new folder by pressing this button here, name your file, whatever you want. Now in this new set, we're going to start recording our new action, so press create new action and make sure you have everything open and prepared how you want to before you do this, because as soon as we start, it's going to start recording. I'll just start recording. So now you see the red record button is on, so every step you take is going to be recorded, so don't make any unnecessary clicks. And you also kind of want to think ahead on what you're going to be doing. So for me, the first thing we're going to do is turn this into a smart object. So right click, convert to smart object, and you can see it records that step right away. And the reason we convert it to a smart object is so we can add smart layers and adjustments, which just means that we can edit them after the fact. So for this comic book look, the first adjustment we're going to create is Image Adjustments Threshold. I've really been liking the Threshold tool lately. And certain steps when you're creating actions like this, where there's dialog boxes and sliders that might have to be different depending on each picture, we can set a dialog box. So just because the threshold on this picture looks good at around 60 doesn't mean that the threshold on another one won't look good at around 150. So we need to let ourselves or the person using the action have a way to adjust it individually each time but still be automatic. So I'll show you how to do that. So I think 58 looks fine for this photo. I'll press OK and it'll record it at 58. However, if we check this little box right here, that's the dialog box. That means it's going to just when it gets to that step, pop open the dialog box for the user to input a number and then continue on as normal. So the next thing we're going to do is add a halftone filter. So let's go to filter, pixelate, color, halftone. Now it might be kind of confusing looking at this menu, but the max radius is just how big the circles are. The minimum is four and I actually think it just looks best at four most of the time. Now the next thing you do is set the degrees of each of these different channels and the reason they're all the same is so that we can keep it black and white. If you start doing different degrees of separation, it's that's when you start to get that red and blue color fringing, which we don't want in this tutorial or I don't want. So I'm just going to keep everything at 45, which is a nice diagonal angle. So these are the settings that I think looks best, but this is not where you want to be figuring that out. You want to figure everything out how you want it before you record the action, and then when you record the action, you won't be making too many unnecessary steps and undoing. So I already know that these are the settings that I like, and I'm going to press OK on them. So the next thing I'm going to do is right click and duplicate my layer. So let's duplicate that, and then the next thing I'm going to do for this duplicated layer is right click and clear the smart filters. So now I have my original photo again on top of everything and what I'll do is set it to a blending mode of darken and then turn the opacity down to about 75%. And then I'll just press stop and that'll be my action fully recorded and ready for me to play on another image. So let's go over to another image and try out our newly created action. So I'll open up that actions window and you can see I have comic book look right here. Now when I pe press play, you see that it stops at the threshold screen just like we told it to so that I can adjust it to each picture individually because the one that worked for the car picture might not look so good for this picture. And I'm actually going to increase the threshold this time to about 100. Press OK and then it'll automatically do the rest of the steps like you told it to. Now as I'm recording this, I'm glad this kind of happened. You saw that I actually set my last action or last layer to 75% but I clearly didn't hit enter before I stopped recording so it didn't capture that step and that's good because I'm going to show you guys how to add stuff on to already made actions so we can see the last thing that happened was setting the current layer to darken so if I click on my comic book action press record and then just press that adjust current layer to 75% opacity 
you'll see that it adds that step right on to the recording. And then I can press stop. Also, if I'm recording and I do something unnecessary, like hide and show the current layer for no reason, I can press stop and I can actually click and highlight those two steps and just drag them to the trash bin. So removing those two steps. So this is our comic book look for real this time. So I have my original photo here, grab my comic book look, press play. It's going to ask me to adjust the threshold. I'll adjust it to my liking and then it'll finish up the rest of the effect. So hopefully in this tutorial you guys not only learned how to create an action and some things you should think about before recording your action, but you also learned how to create that comic book look that you can edit and adjust to your own liking. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, definitely check on my channel and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Should I be this close? You're not gonna bite you. Maybe if you can do it. Alright. <laughs> the duckening. <laughs>